hello guys hello how you're doing this is mj crypto welcome back again and in this video i just want to review um one of my secrets that i use for my smc course and i use this strategy a lot i use it to map out liquidity now liquidity is actually the driving force of the market right liquidity is more like saying volume is the driver of the market all right now what i'm about to show you is something that will change your trading game for life i mean these things i'm telling you real facts right and i've been able to use this strategy to catch most of my btc trades all the time i trade low key these days i don't need to shout or make any noise i just keep flipping accounts flipping accounts and flipping accounts right now what you need to do is to understand that at every point in time the institutional traders are always around to buy your stop losses now, your stop losses are actually the liquidity that drives the market. Okay? Wherever there's stop loss, there's liquidity at that area. Now, I'm going to actually show you a clear demonstration of what exactly I'm saying. Now, let's say, for example, we have... Let's say this is actually... This is actually... A low, right? Good. We agree to that. This is another another low right here. We agree to that. And here is another point, right? Now above these areas, we have liquidity sitting and resting above them. All right, we have liquidity sitting and resting above these areas. Now, the reason is because a lot of retail traders believe that those areas are support and resistance. And when price gets there, and when price gets to these areas, it's going to bounce off and go up again or go down again. It means that price is going to reverse from these areas, right? Now, but the institutional traders don't think this way. They don't believe this is actually what will happen now what they do is that they try as much as possible to grab your liquidity i mean your stop loss and drive the market in other words they try to buy at cheaper prices and sell when the price is very expensive but retail traders like you okay you want to buy at expensive prices and then you find out that the wheels dump the price on you and then you are liquidated now in simple terms here's a liquidity strategy that i'm going to show you right now there's what we call a liquidity sweep i'm just going to map out this area and explain categorically to you what i'm saying so that you get the vibe as quickly as possible now i've mapped out that area i'm going to clone this i'm going to clone this and put it somewhere around here again now this area now okay this area will have this area this area what do you observe this is an accumulation phase okay this is called an accumulation phase now an accumulation phase is that phase whereby the wheels tend to push price in a ranging zone they try to push price up in a ranging zone and then try as much as possible to maintain that zone so that the retail traders like you i'm not i'm not a retail trader anyway um I'm, I'm a whale right now <laughs> i'm just kidding the retail traders like you okay they already know how you think they already know that when price is ranging you are going to be buying from key areas like this key areas like this key areas like this and you're going to be selling from key areas like this key areas like this and then you see what happens somewhere around here they push the price this is it they push the price up took all the stop losses around here and then price came down here again now here is the juicy part when price got here a liquidity sweep happened took out all the stop losses around here let me just illustrate this there's a lot of stop losses around here took out all the stop losses 
with that wick. You can see the wick, can't you? I believe you can. All the stop losses around here. Took them out. And then price came down. Now, at this second point where price came down here, it's called a double liquidity sweep. What has just happened is called a manipulation. Normally, the phase for um, the phase for every cycle of the market is is accompanied by three zones or three levels, or let me say three phases: accumulation, manipulation, distribution. Accumulation, manipulation, trend phase, and distribution. Let me make it four: accumulation, manipulation, trend phase, and distribution. Sometimes it could be five. It could be accumulation manipulation trend phase distribution and reaccumulation now where we are now is the accumulation phase all of this is the accumulation phase price wants to go up but before it does that it needs to collect as many stop losses as it can it needs to collect as many stop losses it can to drive the price to the upside now Price came here, took liquidity, and then came back here again, took liquidity. You can see this sharp wick, and price has reversed again. This is called a double liquidity sweep. This is one of my favorite strategies. And do you know why? I'm going to show you. Now, I'm going to plot out one indicator right now that's going to actually decipher what we are saying and ensure that we're not speaking jargons. All right, now, I'm going to plot this. Now, this indicator right here is the volume profile. The volume profile basically is going to show you where exactly we have a high concentration of volume. All right, where exactly we have the highest concentration of volume and how you can use this to your own advantage. Now, remember I told you this is a divergence strategy and please watch this video to the very end so you don't miss out on anything, right? Good. Now, we already know this is our point of control. Already you know this yellow line, this yellow line right here. So our point of control, and at this zone we had the highest level of volume, right? The volume profile will already tell you that. You don't need to stress yourself about that. Now, because we already know this is the highest volume, we need to look for a divergence underneath this particular, underneath this particular point of control line, POC. We need to look for a divergence now. A divergence, I'm going to plot my RSI right now. Go we'll plot my RSI. And by the way, if you've not gotten the SMC course, <laughs> I really don't know what you are doing. I'm not going to stress myself trying to convince anybody. But those 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 traders who have actually gotten the course, they already know what it is and they know the value of that course. I love them. I just making money, printing money. Low key. All right. So, if you've not gotten the course, try as much as possible to get the course. The link is in the description of this video. Get the course for your own benefit. It's gonna suit you. It's just forty nine dollars right now. So, um, yeah, we already know we have. Let's see, we have our RSI here. Now let's look for our divergence. Divergence means this is a bullish divergence, a regular bullish divergence. Price is making lower lows, but the oscillator, the RSI gone gone, is making it's making consecutive highs. This is it. it's making consecutive highs. Now, when this occurs, we already know that we yes we have. Let me just write it. Divergence. Oh she. Oh she. Trading is sweet when you know what you are doing. I swear down. It's very sweet when you understand exactly what you are doing. Okay, divergence. Let me just put this. Put this at the bottom instead. Now, we already know this is our divergence. Now, what this week is showing us, let me show you something now to bust your head. What this week is showing us now, this week, okay, 
what this week is showing us it's showing us the point at which the wheels took all the stop losses the divergence has already occurred the divergence has showed us that volume is going into the market now that buyers are coming into the market momentum is building i always see this momentum cannot be disrespected if you know what you are doing so now we already see that price is already here at this point at this level here we already know this is where the wheels took action and they got into the market right good now what we need to wait for is a realignment we need to wait for a very very clear realignment remember this is already a change of character if you know what you are doing a change of character has already occurred here so we need to wait for a realignment price needs to come down price needs to come down to some certain levels of other block if possible some certain levels like here needs to come down somewhere around here to come down to retest that level all right it needs to come down to retest that level or better still you get a valid poi somewhere around somewhere around here because we have an imbalance sitting right here either of the two it all depends on what the wheels have in mind to do all right good now when you understand this to the very fullest you already know that oh this is exactly what's going on don't forget our change of character occurred somewhere around here change of character occurred somewhere around here you can see it we'll just make this a little bit bigger when i see this thing clearly i want to hear that mg I did not see your video you have to put it on your face those of you that use glasses clean your glasses very well okay okay yeah i'll just leave it like that so here's our change of character okay so let's go so here's our change of character and um so that's what it looks like right good so now that we already understand the dynamics behind this it is safe to say that at this level <laughs> at this level price will go up again this is what we're targeting except btc dumps if btc doesn't dump this setup is valid we're going to the upside going to the upside so when we see a bullish change of character somewhere around here again or somewhere around here it's now a double confirmation that yes this setup is going up to the upside now the essence of this is for you to understand that we'll be using this strategy for copy trading I just thought it now so that when I drop a signal, you understand that, okay, um, this is the setup MD has used. I can replicate this on my own and just get into the market right away. All right. So basically, that's just, uh, that's just basically what you need to do and what you need to understand. All right. So sign up on Fair Desk. Sign up on Fair Desk. Um, sign up with my link. The link is in the description of this video. So you don't miss out on anything at all copy my trades make profit be happy i think that's the whole essence of trading for you to be happy okay and we're going to be targeting somewhere around here hopefully we're going to be targeting somewhere around here in the long run so this is one hour time frame i'm just going to go over to four hour time frame so that you see what i'm seeing clearly see it good this is some very good risk to reward right here you see it amazing so yeah this is just the way it works and um yeah peace out love you all so much